Hello guys, welcome back to Let's Build a Kingdom number 8, the Lord's District. Now we've come a very long way since we first started our series, since we first started to create our kingdom and indeed our castle and set out a canvas. We've got um, a cemetery, merchant district all planned out, a large cathedral style church with two bell towers up there you see, a marketplace in front of it and then our docks, a tavern, a large ship the, uh, the flagship of our fleet, dedicated to our old friend Knight Peculiar, warehouses, walls and barracks at the front, and uh, behind all that, reaching up into the sky, the majestic Mage Tower, this colossal beast reaching to the heavens, a place for the wizards of our kingdom to, to come and cast their magics, research their spells, and get up to all kinds of mischief that they might do in a Mage Tower. But today we're going to be focusing on the Lord's District. This is an area where um, the richer the richer folk of our kingdom might have apartments. And uh, what I wanted to do with this area is dig down. So here we have a large hole that we're going to have to dig. You see this red nether brick? Well, this this shouldn't be here. What's this doing underground? Well, you may remember from a couple of um, a few episodes ago, our April Fools joke. That, uh, that we were actually going to build a triple X casino, which we in fact did do, but uh, it wasn't there in the canvas. And uh, what I had to do was I had to erase that. And what you see here is is what's left behind, what I didn't manage to erase, what I just tidied over and hid over with grass. Now, once that was out of the way, it was time to continue digging, and I just went down and down, doing this all manually. There are a couple of ways I could have done this. I could have used Voxel Sniper. I could have used World Edit to get down to the uh, to the level that I wanted, but because I wanted to see you guys, uh, to show you guys that it's possible just to do everything in creative without all the fancy tools, all the little cheats that you get from the mods, I decided to do it manually. So once I'd gotten down to the level I wanted, I said about uh, I said about building the walls up on the sides with the stone brick here you see, and then I dig down, I dug down one extra layer. To replace the uh, the cobble the uh, the cobble the stone and the uh, and the dirt you see here, with uh, what will become double slabs. Took a long time to put these down, and I did it in a spiral fashion, as you can see. But uh, in the long run, it was worth it. Since this is the Lord's District, the richer area of the city, it was important that we use more expensive building materials to put together the buildings and structures here, and that's what I wanted to go for when I used these stone slabs. It's a, it's a slightly more pleasant uh, floor than, than cobblestone, I think you'll agree. Once that was done, I put the framework for uh, the two sets of stairs that would lead down to this area, and started to put down the foundations for the buildings that I wanted here. We're using stone brick as the foundations initially, uh, but I've changed my mind about the colour of the stone brick, and, you, and you'll see what I mean when I come back to that in a sec. Now that L shape you see in the middle is going to become a park a small kind of recreational area for people to come and enjoy themselves. Sit down in the park under a tree, laze away with a book, perhaps an apple or some uh, some orange, some orange juice and just, you know, enjoy the sun. Filling that in with grass because everyone likes sitting on grass, they don't want to sit on uh, horrible stone. And the fences we used here, you may remember, are the same fences from both the cemetery and the uh, the training grounds for the guards, and also the secret garden outside the back of the castle. That's stone brick in uh, in twos, and then iron, iron bars in between them. And once the fence was set out, and also the gate, it was time to put in some paths, some areas for trees, and uh, a small little pond with a contemporary fountain. Then placing in uh, glowstone blocks on top of fence posts as our lampposts for the area. And then it was time to work on the first building of the Lord's District. Now this was going to be a large terraced section of houses and I wanted to steal the idea that we used on the warehouse at the docks for the three peaked roof. So I did that after I'd uh, 
put down dark stone bricks, which is what I decided to use for this building. I wanted to alternate things a bit over here so that it didn't look like one big grey monstrosity. So I've used the darker stone bricks here, marked off an area for the floor, and then gone up three levels before deciding that on the third level, the roof of the third level would be the roof of the house. Now math comes in handy when you're planning out these roofs. I wanted three peaks, so I measured the distance between uh, of the whole of the roof, the, uh, the blocks along the top, and it came up to 33 bricks. Now divided by three, that's 11, which meant each peak I could use 11 blocks. So uh, I had five blocks, five steps going up, five steps coming down, and then a block in the middle to put the peak. And then I repeated that three times, and, uh, and here you see I had uh, a perfectly spaced set of three peak roofs. If you're unsure what, with what you're doing, it can be much easier to set out framework rather than just to build straight up like I do with uh, blocks and blocks and blocks. It can be much, much easier, like you saw me do with the barracks, to actually fill in the corners and build a, build a skeletal structure for the building you've planned before you actually fill in the walls. This will help you gauge how much space exactly you need and uh, where you want to be with certain building materials. And once the peaks were done, I tidied things up and, uh, and filled in the gaps with the darker stone brick. And with the roofs complete, it was time to decorate the front of the building, add in some windows, some balconies, and, uh, and give the building a bit more depth, a bit, a bit of light, and uh, a bit of decoration. I'm using a mix of uh, the stone brick steps, the stone brick half blocks, and uh, and the light and dark stone bricks. Changing my mind here with the red uh, the red fence posts to the uh, to the wooden ones. And then once that was done, it was time to fence the front, add in some flowers, and add uh, add some elaborate doorway decorations. and then light up the interior of the building and add the glass pane windows and doors. And with the terraced houses complete, it was time to come over and finish the final three buildings of the area we'd mapped out. Now, I switched out the lighter stone brick for dark, but I didn't want every building to be completely dark stone brick. So instead, I decided to build the first floor of each building as dark, then put in a separating buffer layer of light stone brick steps and continue the rest of the building as, as the light stone brick. Now these houses uh, had to be different, they couldn't just be uh, just go straight up and be boring. So I decided to put a few balconies and some open floor space area to mix it up a little. And then uh, with, with the rooftops, I tried a few things differently as well. Again, this is the Lord's District, not so much the rich district, because this isn't just an area for rich people to live, this is an area for lords to live. The, the richer kind of landowners, when they're staying in the kingdom, come in from their, from their districts for perhaps meetings, perhaps talk of war, if there's a war council, if a new king needs to be elected, things like that, urgent business that they have in the city, they will maintain apartments in the kingdom, and they'll perhaps own, own, a, own a building here for them to come and stay in while they, while they have business in the city. And as such, as a Lord's District, the area needs to be, uh, needs to be lavish. It needs to use richer, more harder to, harder to get, more expensive building materials to, uh, to, build, uh, to build the buildings.
and then onto the final house of the Lord's District. Not changing it up too much, sticking to the general theme we set with the other two buildings you see there. Dark stone bricks on the first floor, light stone bricks on the second, with the red uh, nether brick steps and such for the rooftops. And of course, wooden plank floors. I toyed with the idea of um, using ridiculously expensive materials for some of the areas in this place. Perhaps gold, diamond, things like that. But ultimately, you know, it's not a very good building material. It might look expensive to use, but uh, I'm happy with the building materials I used in the end. And I think that I've uh, represented the Lord's District quite well as, uh, as a rich and powerful area of the city. And here you see me just darting around, adding finishing touches here and there, alterations to, uh, to the proportions of the rooftops. And there you have it, the three peaked roofs on the terraced buildings of the Lord's District. Coming round the back here, along the path, the cobblestone path, we used crenellations along the edge of the, uh, at the, edge of the Lord's District before, before the drop down into the actual district itself. Trees in the park, glowstone lampposts, and the cemetery style fences, three buildings, and one apartment block, and there you have it, the Lord's District. I toyed with the idea of adding the tunnels as well for the Lord's District, and while the tunnels will come, I decided against the train station for our city, because trains don't really fit in with the theme and style of our kingdom, but what do, does fit in are tunnels to escape from, so perhaps next episode we will cover the tunnels and escape mechanisms of the city, as well as beautifying it, and maybe we'll hit, uh, hit some of the final buildings in the Guilds District too. I've been Stjin. Thanks for watching this episode of Let's Build. Stay tuned, because next episode we're getting very, very close to finishing our kingdom. And uh, any episode now, it could land. So uh, hit subscribe, check out Let's Build a Castle, and uh, I'll see you next time. Take care.